Good morning. Today I'm going to take you with me as I enjoy the warm weather, hang out with some friends, and finish both the floor and ceiling in one fell swoop. Let's get right into it. There are a few big things that still need to be done on the cabin before I can really call it finished. And at the absolute latest, the cabin has to be done before June. I have a ton of plans for the summer and I can't have any lingering construction concerns in the cabin to divert my time and money away from other projects. So today I want to finish both the floor and tongue and groove in one fell swoop, which will leave me with little more internal things to do beyond putting up the trim and maybe standing a few things. I started this process a few weeks ago when Ian and I went to Fairbanks to pick up the last of the tongue and groove I needed. He doesn't have a pipe rack on his truck, so we had to rig up this absolute monstrosity of ratchet straps and prayers and hope it wouldn't come undone during the 100 mile journey back to Delta. We did have to stop a few times and readjust it, but beyond that it held fairly well. We got back to the property with about half a day left of good weather, so we got straight to cutting and put up as many as we could stand until he had to leave. We didn't finish the ceiling, but we made some really solid progress and there were only about six more boards that we would have had to put up before I would never have to do tongue and groove ever again. A few days later I went back to Fairbanks and picked up the floorboards I would need so that they would be on hand when I wanted to get started. But since I've never done any flooring before, I was super apprehensive about getting started so I put it off as long as I could. To distract myself, I recut some of the boards at the very top of the end walls, as the slopes I had cut on them were too steep and pushed up into the tongue and groove. Getting the boards out to replace them was a bit of a nightmare, but eventually it came together and I managed to fully finish the tongue and groove for the walls in a couple of hours. With that done, it was just about time I got down to business with the vinyl flooring and figured out how that whole process worked. At long last, it looked like I was all out of excuses, so I guess I started making some up. Like, for instance, clearing the snow off the roof. But that was kind of pushing it as far as procrastination goes, and I knew it. I really didn't need to do that, but once it was done, I was out of excuses for real this time. So I got the first box from the car and got to work. The big thing I was really worried about was the connection points. I'd watched a bunch of videos on how to install vinyl floors, and it just didn't make sense in my head how the boards connect if you cut them off at the end to make the piece fit. But the literal second I got them out of the box and took a good look at it all made perfect sense and I got straight into it. Honestly, I haven't had this much fun doing cabin construction in a very long time. The whole process of building this thing has been a long learning curve where every new part of the process has been something completely unknown to me. And nine times out of ten, I feel like I'm fighting it every step of the way. The flooring, on the other hand, was simple, intuitive, and wildly easy to install. The hardest part of the process was just moving things like the shelf and the couch to do the boards to sit beneath them. And even that was hardly an inconvenience. All told, I got the entire floor done in a single day, and thinking back on it, I don't think anything else in the entire lifespan of the cabin has taken a single day to happen. It was a real breath of fresh air to finally have a part of the process go smoothly and turn out amazingly. 
And the longer I look at the new floor, the more I'm glad I sprung for the vinyl, despite how expensive this stuff is. It really, really goes a long way in making this place feel like a finished space that you might actually want to live in, which is wild after having the cabin be barely more than a shed for a very long time. Just yesterday, I was looking at pictures of the place before I put up the siding, and we have come a long, long way since then. We've come so far, in fact, that I'm actually running out of things to do in here. I have a bit of a short list of things I plan to do in the next few videos, like put up trim, do some steps up to the door, switch the door out with an actual exterior one, but very soon we're going to get to a point where the cabin will be well and truly finished, and I can't tell you how excited I am for that day. I know I said a minute ago that I finished the whole floor in one day, but that isn't technically true. I've been working on the cabin for about nine hours already when I got to the last row of boards that had to be laid down, and I was just tired. And I figured there was no reason I shouldn't just go back to the rental for the night and finish it the next morning, which is exactly what I did. But even then, I still got a tiny bit of work left to do. There's a gap about two inches wide that I need to cut my last few planks down for, but I'll get to that when I do the trim. After weeks of construction, I finally got to give the place a much needed deep clean and just fully admire how much the new floor changes the feel of the interior. I don't know how to put it, it just feels so professional. But I still had tongue and groove to do. So with the much needed help from Josiah, we got back to work. And not a second too soon too. I've been told by my neighbors that this area gets a lot of flooding in the spring and since we've had non-stop snow melt for a few days, it's hitting full force. Makes me glad I'm not carrying 10 boxes worth of flooring through about a foot of standing water. Which was nice help we finally, after nearly seven months of fighting against the ceiling, got four of the last six boards up and nailed in. I wanted to finish the ceiling for this video, but unfortunately I was missing those last two boards, and the only place to get them within 120 miles has terrible weekend hours, so I guess it's a problem for next week, or at least when the water level goes down. Surprise, it's me. It's just easier to not have hair and I've wanted to do it forever, so I figured I'd just go for it. Mom, when you see this, please call me because I want to hear your reaction. Anyway, we got a ton of work done in this video. I'm really happy with the amount of stuff that we managed to put behind us and finally get out of the way. Like, there's always going to be a bit more tongue and groove to do. Uh, it's just the eternal nightmare of that. I don't even know if I'd call it an art form. I would at this point. It's I, I've been working on it for forever. But we got the flooring done, which is something that I can say is fully, entirely finished. In the next video, we'll probably be doing the trim. We'll be seeing the cabinets. We'll be putting the heat shield around the stove. A lot of little finishing details, but we also might not because it's pretty flooded there at the moment. And I don't know how much I want to be working around there. And it's warm enough that we can do other things like some sort of adventure, which I might do next. But anyway, uh, I need to get this video out, so I'm going to let you guys go. Everyone, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Stay warm out there.